Hello friends, welcome to Vidya's cooking channel. This is Vidya Lakshmi. Today I'll be using a product. I'll be preparing chicken 65, but this is going to be spiked with some garlic. So I've uh, recently received two wonderful products from Cooked. They sell premium masalas, curries, and curry paste ready to use gravies on their website. I'll post more information about Cooked in the description box below this video. So here I have the Madras 65. It has got very easy and simple to follow instructions. You don't have any hassle for half a kilo of meat or vegetable, whatever it is. You have to measure the water and you have to just mix the masala and prepare your 65. Same goes with the butter gravy masala. Uh, that is also you just have to heat the masala, add your or veggies or paneer or chicken whatever it is and you're good to go so that's how easy it is and the wait time is also not much like how i prepare i normally wait for an hour or two hours i allow the meat to marinate here that's not the case you just have to uh, open your masala packet and you'll just have to marinate your meat has to be washed thoroughly so i'll be using some chicken lollipops here this is about half a kilo i'm preparing so I've added the masala to a mixing bowl and I measured and added uh, the water, how much ever they have given there. So it is uh, 100 ml of water. So I've added in small batches, making sure there is no lumps in the masala and I mixed it. Uh, now what I found here is, if you place this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, it is going to be excellent. That's my only pro tip here. You don't have to add any ginger garlic paste, nothing. If your meat is fresh and your veggies are good, then you're good to go. You don't have to add anything to this. Just mix the masala, marinate, massage and marinate the masala to your veggies or meat or whatever you're using. Place a cover and leave it in the refrigerator for minimum of 30 minutes. If you have to prepare this in an emergency, you can do it within 15 minutes. No hurry. So here I've got my chicken. Finely chopped uh, onion, garlic, some sesame seeds, pepper, pepper powder, salt, then dried red chilies and curry leaves I've reserved. I've also heated oil in a wok on low to medium flame. Now I'll be adding the chicken lollipops one at a time to the hot oil. Be very slow when you're doing this but it can splutter. So you know, place this on low to medium flame and fry it for 2-3 to three minutes on each side just keep turning it and frying it if you want it extra crispy leave it for another two to three minutes the chicken will turn brown in color but that's not an issue you'll have a extra crispy and very crunchy masala coating on top and the chicken will be nice and juicy inside once the chicken has cooked drain it from the oil and reserve it on a plate lined with some tissue paper or some kitchen towel for the excess oil to drain out here I'm frying the second batch in the same way. I'll fry it and reserve it on the plate. I've heated a small pan with two teaspoons of that oil that I fried the chicken in. Now I've added the dried red chilies. I've broken it into half and added it. Then I'm going to add curry leaves, finely chopped onion and garlic. I've also added pepper powder, sesame seeds and salt for the onion and garlic. Now I'm going to toss it and fry it for two minutes until the onion turns transparent. And I'm going to toss the chicken in this because this masala gives that extra punch, that extra taste in that chicken. So that's the reason I'm going to toss the chicken in this masala. I'll remove it from the flame and serve it hot. This pairs very well with biryanis, palavs or you can eat it as it is. Do try this and post your comments. All the information will be in the description box below this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, this is Vidya Lakshmi. Thank you so much for watching.